Voters headed to polls in states across the country today to choose local leaders and determine the outcome of several high-profile measures. In Ohio, we've been following the effort to repeal the anti-union measure passed last year, Senate Bill 5. Issue 2 could overturn that bill today. In Iowa, a special election could affect the state's ban on same-sex marriage. Virginia voters could return Republicans to control of the state Senate, and mayoral races are taking place in San Francisco, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Houston, and other cities. Also in Arizona, Senator Russell Pierce faces a recall election in District 18 in Mesa. Pierce is known as the architect of the state's harsh anti-immigrant law, SB 1070, and a former deputy for Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio. For more, we're joined by Gary Nelson. He's a reporter for the Arizona Republic, and he's been following the District 18 race. Gary Nelson, welcome to FSRN. Uh, Thank you very much. It was just about a year ago that Russell Pierce won a sixth term, yet by January, groups, including Somos Republicans and others, uh, had already begun recall efforts. He's now facing an election in which he could lose his seat. What happened? I think there were probably a goodly number of things that happened. There was, of course, uh, the reaction to Senate Bill 1070 itself, uh, the bill that uh, he shepherded through the legislature last year, which created a great amount of controversy. There were boycotts of Arizona, and people, uh, many people in Arizona began to feel that he was doing the state more harm in terms of creating a bad image uh, than he might have been doing good in other aspects of his legislation. And so there was, it's just been an accumulation of discontent over not only Senate Bill 1070 itself, but his focus on immigration over the past decade to the exclusion, some people believe, of other issues, Uh, not to mention his kind of two-fisted hardball style of politics where he casts himself as the uh, righteous uh, defender of everything that is American and anybody who dares to oppose him is castigated as a liberal uh, stooge of some sort. So just a lot of things regarding his style and uh, the effects of his legislation. Pierce also served as chief of deputy for Sheriff Joe Arpaio in Maricopa County starting in 1993. On his own website, he said one of his key accomplishments was to create and implement the tent cities. That's where uh, inmates were kept in tents, sometimes in dangerously high temperatures. Now, Arpaio is a highly controversial sheriff. The Justice Department has investigated him for civil rights violations. How has this connection influenced the election? It's hard to say how much the sheriff's influence will affect the election because, as you mentioned, the sheriff himself has been under investigation, uh, and there's some sense that his overwhelming popularity may have faded somewhat in Maricopa County over the last couple of years. Uh, the sheriff will appeal to the the hard core Pierce uh, supporters. Uh, they all kind of run in the same uh, the same stream, uh, but whether whether our pile will have any effect on more moderate or liberal voters, doubtful. Talk about Olivia Cortez. She's the candidate who was shown to actually be supported by Pierce's camp in the in the race against him. Give us some background on her. Well, we don't really know much about her. She claims to have uh, immigrated here legally at some point in her earlier life um, and appeared out of nowhere as a candidate in the recall election after the election was called this past summer. Uh, She wouldn't respond to media queries in terms of her aims for running or her platform. Uh, But as time went by, uh, the lawyer for the group that organized uh, the recall election uh, actually subpoenaed her and put her on the stand uh, in a county courtroom and basically exposed uh, the fact that she she was running uh, not as a legitimate candidate. She withdrew in early October. Uh, in the face of apparently new evidence that would have would have perhaps uh, cast her story into even further doubt. And uh, the lawyer for the recall group has said that there may be criminal repercussions. 
And then there is Jerry Lewis, who is the uh, who Pierce's primary challenger. What is Lewis running on? He and Pierce do not differ greatly on matters of mm, taxation, government regulation. Jerry Lewis is a conservative Republican uh, in every sense of the word, except when it comes to immigration, and that is where the main difference lies between him and Pierce in terms of policy and issues. Uh, Jerry uh, does not favor open borders. He favors border enforcement, but he also would like to see... uh, some sort of accommodation made for the 10 10 to 12 million individuals who have already crossed into the country without their papers. Uh, He does not favor mass deportation, which is Pierce's favorite method of dealing with these individuals. Gary Nelson is a reporter for the Arizona Republic. He's been following the District 18 race where Senator Russell Pierce is facing a recall vote today. Gary Nelson, thanks so much for your time. You're welcome.